All right, we are to review question number two. Looks like another antiderivative. So the first thing I notice is this piece right here. I could actually rewrite this. Let me write first, separate my two terms. So four over three square root of x dx. I could actually bring the three out front because it's like saying three over one. And so I have left one over x. Hey, see something right there. And then this piece, I'm going to bring my fraction out front, four thirds. And that's going to leave me with the square root of x on the bottom, which remember the square root of x is the one half power. And when I bring it to the top, will be the negative one half power. All right, now here we go. So three, this piece right here looks like that. So I believe it will be ln of absolute value of x. This piece, the four thirds, this looks like a power rule. So x to the negative one half plus one, I'm gonna write it as two over two, negative one half plus one. So I end up with three ln of x plus four thirds, x to the one half plus two over two, well that's gonna be one half, and then the bottom will be one half. So I'm left with three ln of absolute value of x plus four thirds. Well, can't you write x to the one half as the square root of x? And notice this one half, you can actually flip and bring up. And I believe I am finished. Plus four times two is eight to the square root of X over three. And I wait till my final step to add the plus C. And you can kind of look at it, you know, certainly this piece that the derivative is going to be one over X. And then if you remember, the square root of x is one over two square roots of x. The two goes into the eight. Hey, there you go.